Welcome to Electro Online, and now let's take a look at the planetary magnetic fields. Again, we're doing comparative planetology. We're going to compare the eight planets to one another. And again, you're going to see a, a big difference between the magnetic fields of the terrestrial planets versus magnetic field of the gas planets. First of all, when we look at the terrestrial planets, they either have no magnetic field or either a moderate or weak magnetic field, as opposed to gas planets. The first two very big gas planets have very strong magnetic fields, and Uranus and Neptune have moderate magnetic fields. And when we say moderate, they're still stronger than the Earth's magnetic field. So why is that? Well, what creates a magnetic field in the first place? Well, magnetic fields are created when there are electrical currents. So that means for a planet to have a magnetic field, there must be electrical currents, there must be charged particles flowing throughout their interior, and usually that's aided when there's a rapid rotation of the planet. So when we look at these planets, all of a sudden we realize, well, there's a good explanation why Mercury and Venus have no magnetic field because their rotational period is very slow. It takes Mercury 58 days to make one rotation on its axis, and it takes Venus 243 days to make one rotation on, it, on its axis. So that rotational motion to aid in having a magnetic field simply isn't there for Mercury and Venus. On top of that, you need something like a liquid metal or something like that that could flow throughout the interior to cause those electrical currents to exist. That doesn't seem to be the case for both Mercury and Venus, and again, therefore, we don't believe that uh, we, don't, we don't have magnetic fields, so therefore we don't believe that there, is the, that, uh, there is that liquid metal flowing inside the interiors of Mercury and Venus. Now, the Earth, we do have a portion of the core being a liquid iron-nickel core. So the outer portion of the core is actually a liquid metal core made out of iron and nickel, and Earth has a rapid rotation relative, especially compared to Mercury and Venus, once every 24 hours. So therefore, we see that there's a moderate magnetic field on the Earth. Now Mars, being much smaller, probably just has a solid, solid metal core. But we do believe that the crust has magnetic, uh, magnetic field producing properties in that the crust has what we think is, is a, a magnetized crust. So in other words, when the, the crust solidified, there must have been some properties there that caused the alignment of, of uh, the atoms in the crust, causing that, that weak magnetic field to exist above the, the, um, the surface of Mars. However, it's so weak that it really doesn't provide some protection for the, uh, from the solar winds. Earth's magnetic field protects us from the solar winds. Mars' magnetic field is so weak that there really is no protection from the solar winds to speak of, just in the, like it is on the Earth. The magnetic fields on Jupiter and Saturn are extremely strong. Matter of fact, the magnetic field of Jupiter, the, the uh, extent of what we call that region where the solar wind cannot reach, is larger, reaches all the way out to past the orbit of Saturn. So that's five astronomical units away. So when you think about it, if, if we have Jupiter here and we have Saturn right there, the magnetic field around Jupiter extends all the way past the orbit of Saturn. It's this huge region that's protected by, uh, from the solar winds. The reason why Jupiter's magnetic field is so strong is this enormous large planet that has very rapid rotation, less than 12 hours for a single rotation. It, the interior is made out of metallic hydrogen, and so that most of it is liquid metallic hydrogen, so there's a lot of flow of, of that metallic hydrogen causing enormous strong electrical currents producing that enormously strong magnetic field. Saturn being a smaller planet, it also has a very rapid rotation. Matter of fact, Saturn has even a rap more rapid uh, rotation in its axis than Jupiter, but it being smaller, it therefore has a smaller region with liquid metallic hydrogen, and therefore the magnetic field of Saturn is a little bit smaller than the uh, magnetic field of Jupiter. Uranus and Neptune have a different type of reason why they have moderate magnetic fields. There, of course, the interior is made out of liquid uh, water and liquid ammonia. There's probably a lot of ions within that interior as well, which are called dissolved islands within that methane water environment. And because the rapid rotation of the planets, there's a lot of currents within the interior of those two planets as well, and that, that rapid rotation and the currents with that, uh, that contain the ions that are dissolved in the water and the methane will then cause electrical currents and therefore cause the magnetic fields to exist. Again, the magnetic fields of those two planets stronger than the magnetic field of the Earth. So this is where you find all the strong magnetic fields. There's where you find the relatively weak magnetic fields. Earth, luckily for us, has the strongest, strongest magnetic field of all the four terrestrial planets. 
Without that magnetic field, we simply could not live on the Earth because we would not be protected from the solar winds. The onslaught of those particles being, being sent away from the sun would be, you know, they would be impacting the Earth's surface and the magnetic field forms a nice shield protecting us from those particles. And so that's a good overview of the magnetic fields in our solar system.